For those of you who joined us for our inaugural 2K TV Tuesday event, thank you for helping us make it a huge success. We were there competing and checking out all the action and you all rocked it. But there was one that stood out above the rest. The 2K TV Tuesday MVP goes to... XX Dowski, who won 98 games during our event. UK Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. The Warriors coming into the arena earlier. They know a hostile crowd's waiting for them, and it looks like they'll be ready for it. A beautiful evening in downtown Memphis, Tennessee. Our setting tonight, the FedEx Forum. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us on 2K Sports. NBA action is coming up. And tonight, it'll be the Memphis Grizzlies going up against the Golden State Warriors. Kevin Harlan here alongside Greg Anthony and Chris Webber. T.A. David Aldridge is on our sideline. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Dylan Brooks. And looking at his offensive numbers from the past few years, it seems like teams around the league have kind of figured him out. Uh, he's having to work a lot harder for his points, and they haven't been coming nearly as easily as they used to. Before we get going, let's hear from David Aldridge down on the sideline. David? Thank you very much. Jaron Jackson Jr. is continuing in his father's NBA footsteps. Asked about that influence, Jaron said, just his heart for the game and tenacity. You have to be able to shoot and play defense because you don't want to be a liability. At the end of the day, my dad did all of that, and he won a ring. Kevin Jaron Jr. wants that last part, too. I can see why, D.A., and I think he's well on his way. Thank you for that one. And tonight's game, like so many, could come down to the three-point shooting for each team. Greg, there are debates as to whether that style alone can win you a championship in the NBA. Well, Kevin, there's never a substitute for balance. And coaches and players are too smart. You have to keep your opponents guessing. But leave no doubt, the three-pointer is here to stay. Now, Golden State's starting five. We've got Kaminga all out there with Moody. Then there's Wiseman. And it's Abdiya in at the three. And for the Grizzlies, Rooks at the three with Jackson at the four. De'Anthony Melton out there with Morant. And it's Poole in the center, locking down the middle. How about that amazing focus for the ball? Even when the D was roughing him up, he was still attacking the basket, keeping his eyes up. Hey, Chris, at this point in Wall's career, what are you seeing from him in terms of his mindset? Once said, Kevin, you don't get recognition as a point guard if you don't win. Well, he's all about nice team success right now. Looking for that elusive chip. Now, the number one overall pick in 2010. I mean, Wall became a bona fide star. He plays with an edge and energy. Morant outside. Warriors with the rebound. They come into this one having outplayed the Magic last game. Yeah, and with most of the arena against them, they just banded together and trusted one another to make the right play. Well, the crowd didn't seem to phase them at all. They knew what their game plan was and followed the court. Now here's Jackson following the miss by John Wall. To the middle. Here's Weissman. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That's on Jerry Jackson. Oh, nice job by Wiseman to get some contact while in the act. And he plays. It's his first trip to the line. And when he's got himself to the line this season, he's come through right around 74% of the time. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good from Wiseman. 
And you got to respect how quickly Wiseman has adapted to big league play. He hit the ground running and has not looked back. Always growing as a player. Monroe's checked in for Jaron Jackson. So one for two that time at the strike. And so it's Monroe with it, bringing it up for Memphis. Four-point game. Here's Morant. And finished off by Morant. Playmaker who does a solid job distributing the rock. No sleep on Duke's vision. Ball with the bounce pass. Now here's Wiseman. Defense right on him. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. Now here's Morant. He's someone who's a factor on any given night, averaging more than 22 points a game. If you're Morant and, and you want to be a star point in the NBA, you have to score off the pick and roll sets. Wiseman with the ball. Guarded by Morant. Wiseman no good. Morant against Wall. Morant passes to Melton. At the top of the key, Brooks. Back to Melton. Lock at six. Morant with a wide open look. Trills it from outside. Morant's got seven points. Warriors have gone two for four from the field so far today. To the inside. And finished up by Wiseman. Uh, this is why you can't leave guys open around Wall. He'll notice it and exploit it. Pass to Melton. Here's Poole. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Now here's Wall. He picked up 24 points in their last one against the Magic in Orlando. And we got to talk about his four steals on the night. That's a complete performance at both ends of the floor. Nothing less than that kind of defense will cut it against him. That's just great work inside. Brooks the pass to Poole. And Monroe kicks to Melton. Pass to Brooks. Avdia with the rebound. Warriors have gone 50% from the field, hitting 3 of 6 since the opening tip. Always going up for the alley-oop here. And finished off by Wiseman. And just caught the D there by surprise. Love when Wiseman goes for the big end on the alley -oop. The 10 footer. Brooks misses. The Warriors leading. Kaminga dishes the wall. Golden State moving it around. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. Yeah, there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Well, they've carried out a great game plan in the paint so far. Working it down low a lot and getting high percentage looks. And also another aspect of their game that's been super so far tonight is how they've been sharing the basketball. That free throw good from Kaminga. And as the regular season winds toward the playoffs break for those teams in the upper half of the standings, how much are they looking at the seeding and their possible opponents? Well, I don't think most would admit it, but it's human nature to think ahead, trying to map out that route and looking at how it breaks down in the bracket. Now here's Wall, and it's Melton with the rebound. The dish now to Monroe. Morant outside. Here's Melton. That one wide left. Warriors leading by four. Wall passes to Moody. Here's Wiseman. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Poole finds Monroe. Out to Brooks. Back to Monroe. Now the pass to Morant. Down to five on the shot clock. 
over the wall. And it comes off the front of the rim. Warriors have gone 6 of 10 from the field in this ballgame. And then Wiseman slams it in. Oh, that's a big man move by Wiseman. Roughing up the D with that emphatic finish. Morant's against Wall. Will it go? Poole kicks to Brooks. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. And since we've got a second, let's go to our rookie watch and see which of the first-year players are averaging the most blocks since the All-Star break. Warriors leading by eight. And it's Wiseman at the elbow. And finished off by Wiseman. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Going for the juggler right off the bat. I mean, jumping out to an impressive early lead. So, timeout call here. The first for Memphis coming into this, having notched a win against the Rockets in their last game. And the bench turned up in that one. Whatever they couldn't get from their starters, they got from the reserves. And when the bench steps up, it takes pressure off the starters. And they stepped up big in that game. Catching up on the changes for Memphis. Reddish, he's checked in for Brooks. Bain comes in for Milton. And Wagner is subbed in for John Moran. Pass to Hughes. Here's Harold. He's defended by Wagner. Shoots a fader. And it's Harold missing. Uh, the D playing soft off him. He might have been better off taking it to the hoop instead of settling for the jump. They get the rebound. Here's Poole. And they convert it last on attempt number three. Well, no hesitation to get to him. He uses his height advantage to convert the easy Ball passes to Avdia. Sims inside. He's defended by Wagner. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. Yeah, you got to be careful. It's still early. They've expended a lot of energy, but they've also built a nice cushion here. To the right side. And the wide open shot from Reddish. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. I mean, like the kick out there. Recognizing there's more room outside than inside. And here's Wall outside. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. And Monroe kicks to Reddish. Back to Monroe. Passes it to Reddish. And Reddish with the slam. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Well, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over. Defensively, that's just poor communication. Scooped up. Sims. It's deflected. Now, here's Poole. He's tightly guarded. Wagner with it. Really played well against Houston in his last outing. And here's Reddish. And he converts the layup. And now it's just a four-point warrior lead. And that's just an, taking advantage of some soft defense on that drive. A little resistance for him on the way to the basket. Here's Harold. And the rejection by Monroe. They've been beating them up to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Driving to the basket. Goodness. Just making it look easy. Well, he's got the athleticism and the aggressiveness to make the spectacular. Not that we get used to it, but look, a little routine sometimes. You hit it on the head. <laughs> and the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Well, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. Well, the defensive intensity has to pick up, and I'm sure Coach is going to let them know that. The Warriors making a switch here. Bruce has checked in. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. And in a close game, blocks like that are so clutch. And that could be a real difference maker here tonight. Here is Wall. He's been putting up the points on a very steady basis, averaging around 17 and a half points a game. 
and he can't stop the run as he misses. That works just like they drew it up until the part where he short arms the play. Here's Bain. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. The Warriors lead it. To the paint, Harold dishes the wall. It's rebounded by Memphis. Monroe's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Poole kicks to Monroe. Over wall. Monroe, no good. The Warriors shooting to start out this game about 43%. Here's Sims. He takes it in. Look, he may not be thought of as big for a center, but with his ability to go vertical, he sure plays big. I'm out called the Grizzlies. with possession here. Trailing by four. Here's Wagner. No points in the game yet for him. Gets it to fall. The bucket from Bain. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Bain's gotten two of his three shots to go tonight. Now here's Wall. He's defended by Wagner. Hugh. That's good. And so Wall with the assist. Three points. Wall's got three assists in the game. Now, here's Wagner. He's been putting up the points on a very steady basis, averaging around 17 and a half points a game. Poole, the pass to Monroe. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Harrell kicks to Wall. Pass to Hughes. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Hughes got five. Oh, even from that range, the floater is one of the toughest shots in the game. Here's Bain. He has five. Knocked away and stolen by Harrell. Hughes, the pass to Sims, stolen by Monroe, and it's Memphis on the break. Here's Poole. Bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. We've got 28 seconds left here in the first quarter. Outside, Wall, and the pass to Struess. Some nice passing by Golden Stadium. Walls shot is off. He's lucky his teammates have picked up the slack for him. I mean, his shooting has been horrific. Down low, here's a Sims, and he finishes nicely on the layup. Six points for him. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. And so it's the Golden State Warriors with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. And don't go away. We'll be right back. Now, John Wall, one of the most explosive guards in the NBA, and he knows the importance of keeping teams honest with his perimeter shot. Uh, when my jump shot's going, it opens up the floor so much more for me and my teammates and giving those guys open looks. And uh, it's just the hard work I put in and these guys trusting and believing me of being able to knock down open shots. Well, Greg, we've seen plenty of other players improve their jump shot during their time in the NBA. And as he slows down with age, I think that will be the key for Wall, increasing his confidence from range. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And the Warriors guys, what jumps out to you in this game? Uh, stats wise Well, you can see these guys are unafraid to take chances defensively. Yeah, it's a gambling style that pays off, keeping things in disarray for that offense. 
And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. Setting the floor for the Warriors. They've got Moody, and it's Sims in at the five. Monroe, no good. Warriors leading by six. Pass to Struce. Here's Sims. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Sims has got eight. Oh, forget about three-pointers. Give me a look from right in tight. I'll take it all day long. Morant drives in. And finished up by Morant. Just another example of why you run plays through Morant. I mean, he makes great decisions with the ball in his hands. Yeah, selected second in 2019, Kevin. John Morant, the highest draftee in the Ohio Valley Conference history. And he became the second Grizzly ever to win Rookie of the Year joining the Caucasus. Oh. The three is good, and he got fouled in the act of shooting. This could turn into a four-point play. That's a nice play, getting the separation he needs for a clean look. And he may just have to put a little more arc under that. But either way, it's a tough shot. And he's got his first chance at the line here. The Anthony Melt. He's checked in for Memphis. Eisman's checked in for the Warriors. One shot. Some people felt, Chris, that John Morant was an all-star snub in his rookie year. Well, you look at what he accomplished in year one. And enjoy Magic Johnson, great Isaiah Thomas, and Trey Young is the only 20-year-old rookies to average at least 17 points and seven assists per game. That's, that's some lofty company. This is a just truth. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. He kicks it to Weisman. And finished off by Weisman. And how about the night from Weisman? There's no stopping this fella once he gets rolling. Good luck slowing him down. Now here's Morant. Nine points in the game so far. Weisman with the rebound. Warriors leading by 12. Pass to Struth. Back to Weisman. Now Kaminga. And here is Moody. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Shot clock at six. A shot missing. And Memphis the other way now. Monroe outside. Over Wiseman. And Wiseman sends it back. And putting in work on the defensive end. Wiseman's SWAT providing a spark to his team and there's a pattern starting to take shape here they're working it inside and getting good shots from close range here's Monroe following the basket by Jonathan Kaminga inside Jackson and no good the try spell continuing for him down low Heisman with the ball Monroe on him good work defensively by Monroe and so it's Monroe with it, bringing it up for Memphis. It's a 14-point game. Brooks with the bounce pass. Here's Jackson. The Grizzlies with another miss. Warriors have gone 4-7 of seven from the field in this second quarter so far. Great communication on the alley-oop. Oh, just a picture-perfect alley-oop. You, you gotta love that. Now, a little surprise, Greg. He didn't go for the big slam, but it works just the same. Now a timeout called by Memphis. And, Greg, you had a lot of success playing in college and the NBA, but what was the most fun you ever had playing with the team? That's a tough call, Kevin. I mean, winning tends to be the most fun. So I'd have to probably say my UNLV team, but... We had some great teams with the Knicks, and don't forget about my Blazers. They were also a really competitive team. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Pools checked in. The Warriors also with a sub. Av Diaz checked in. Morant with it. Now Av Diaz defending. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, guys. We have seen today's athletes taking stands for social justice. All-star Bradley Beal says we understand there will be a backlash, but we don't care about that. I'm a human being, a citizen, just like everybody else. I have family and friends still living in those environments, and I'm their voice. 
Kevin? All right, David, thank you very much. Now here's Brooks following the miss by Denny Avdia. Here's Morant. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. No doubt the fight's there. They are trying to battle back, but it's just really struggling this quarter. Strews passes to Moody. Avdia with it. Let's the three fly. No good on that one. The Grizzlies trail by 16. Moran passes to Jackson. James and James Wiseman That's picks up the foul. foul. That is his first foul, foul of the game. And, and you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. Now Melton. An 11-point game for him in the win against Houston. The pass to Morant. Just five on the clock. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Kaminga with a wide-open look. And the Warriors miss again. They need to stop this run. You know what, Kev? I think it's time to switch some things up, either by going to your bench or with a different look defensively to disrupt their rhythm. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. The Grizzlies shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. Two shots. That one is off. Wow. What, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Some changes for Memphis. Reddish, he's checked in for Brooks. And it's Bain in for John Morant. And he's good on the second. Starting with the 2021 season, the G League welcomed the Ignite team. Few top prospects to join it. Skip college. Uh, Chris, how do you like that? You know, I think it's great. I mean, getting 17, 18-year-olds into pro ball, uh, you, when you really know that's where they want to end up. The ruling schedule is a huge adjustment. Uh, the physical aspect, eating right, working out, uh, time management. I, I think it's a great step to help you prepare for this tough league we call the NBA. To the middle. And finished off Jimmy by Weissman. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one up. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's Melton. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And maybe that will trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are pumped up. From deep, Wall. And they recover it. The shot's good from Weissman. Weissman's got 21. You just can't teach size and length, and Weissman beats everyone to the ball for that second chance opportunity. Jackson with it. Now guarded by Harrell. That one goes in. I like that too. I mean, you can see how easy it makes it for him to get to the cup. Ball passes to Moody. Pass to Avdia. Gets the three-pointer to fall. And the Warriors lead by 18. Maybe he's not a priority for the D, but come on, man. You gotta have somebody keep the track of Reddish. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. Reddish has got nine points. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Let's talk about it. Great competition going on. That's what makes a matchup like this so much fun to watch. Memphis has gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Melton, no good. Warriors leading by 15. From deep, Wall. It's rebounded by Poole. Poole's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Now, here's Melton, covered by Wall. Here's Rash. And that one goes long. 
Golden State's gotten cold from deep in the second quarter, just two or six from long range. Now, here's Avdia. Defense is right there. And it's Desmond Bain with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Wagner's checked in for the Grizzlies. And the Warriors also making a change. Hughes is checked in. Ball taking his time here. Passes it to Hughes. Four on the shot clock. Over Jackson. The shot by Hughes, no good. The Grizzlies trail by 15. Jackson finds Wagner. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Wall. That's his first foul. Warriors on D. They led by as many as 18 points. Wagner with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. They're trailing, and their offense has gone away. They shot it better in the first, but are really flat so far here in the second. And that'll be Golden State as it goes out of bounds. Warriors retain possession. Harold dishes the wall. Harold the pass to Hughes. And he lobs it up toward the rim. It's stolen by Reddish. Jackson against Harold. Jackson gets the button. Jackson's got four points this quarter. Looks like his pops, Jerry Jackson Jr. can pour it in close to the hoop. Can't let him get the ball in that deep. Ball's knocked loose. Now here's Wall. He's defended by Wagner. Just five to shoot. Here's Hughes. Their offense stone cold. Another miss there. And one thing I liked in the first quarter was their aggressiveness to draw the contact, putting the defense on the defensive. Wagner kicks to Jackson. Has to be. Driving in, uses the glass to finish the lane. Baines got his third bucket of the night. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. And here's Wall outside. Doesn't go that time. And Memphis the other way now. The pass to Baines. 59 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Memphis moving it around. Let's it go from 14. Jackson misses. Well, until he starts knocking down some shots, I don't think the deficit's going to get any smaller. Can't hit from in close. The Grizzlies trail by 11. Takes a three. Warriors with the rebound. Avdiev's got rebound number five here tonight. Outside wall. Pass to Harold. To the paint. Here's Moody. And the slam by Moody. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA. The lead is what it is right now. The coaching staff has to be upset. You can't give the opposition easy baskets like this. I mean, he is just demoralizing his opponent right now on the backboard. They didn't want anything to do with him on that possession. Almost like they were just giving up on the play. And he's been doing this for a few games in a row now. We're looking at one of the hottest players in the league. And so it's the Golden State Warriors. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. They've played the better game so far, but their work is far from over. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Steve. Some great engagement defensively. What's happening that's good at that end of the floor? I think they're just playing hard, rotating, playing for each other, and they've done a better job of avoiding fouls and just playing good. Steve, thanks for your time. Back to you. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway.
the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. James Wiseman, a huge first quarter. He had 21 points, four rebounds, and one block. Hey, big fella, what's your take on Golden State so far? Well, what I like, the ball never stopped moving, nor did the players. Everyone working in unison, playing for one another. Love to watch this brand of basketball. We've got a whole other I'm so excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. How about you, Kenny? What'd you think about Memphis? They didn't shoot the ball very well, and that's because they didn't have any flow on offense. I'd expect the coaching staff to make some adjustments in the locker room. They need to draw up some plays to get a good offensive win. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. It's been a clinic out there by James Wiseman. The way he was able to finish on the block was incredible there in that first half. Bringing the physicality. I mean, they kept working it to him, and he kept delivering. The Grizzlies trail by 11. Looks at the three with Jackson at the four. DeAnthony Melton out there with John Morant. And it's Poole in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. Jackson kicks to Melton. Six on the shot clock. Jackson gets the bucket. Jackson's got it back down to within single digits for the Grizzlies. And so it's Wall with it, bringing it up for the Warriors. To the inside. Here's Weissman. Banked in off the glass. Weissman's got 23. And listen, we know Wiseman has a nice outside game, but inside, there aren't too many guys who can match up with him physically. Morant with it. Kaminga picks him up. And finished off by Morant. That should give him a nice little jolt. Ah, uh, yeah, it has to. They need a jolt, GM. Hey, guys, you think he was sending a message on that one? He doesn't like losing. Now here's Wiseman. Shoots from 12. And it's Melton with the rebound. That's a break for the D right there. I mean, he takes advantage of open looks inside more often than not. Kicks to Jackson. Brooks outside. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's his first now Dylan first Brooks, who went to Oregon, was the 2017 Pac-12 Player of the Year. The yeah, and the second round pick that Dylan year, I mean, he was taking 45th. At the line for Despite two. that, he's carving out a solid career as a two-way win. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Well, it's easy to see all the hard work Dylan Brooks has put in. 45th pick in the 2017 draft. And both free throws good for Brooks. Oh, you can get spoiled watching him at the line. I mean, you just expect him to make everyone every time. And it's Weisman at the elbow. It's rebounded by Memphis. Passes to Poole. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Now, here's Wall. Here's Moody. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Yeah, and gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. Cool, no good. Well, that's their first miss after hitting three in a row to start the half. I mean, I guess it had to happen sometime. Weisman the pass to Moody. Shoots over Melton. Moody's shot is off. 
They're having trouble getting going here in the second half. I mean, that's their fourth miss in five attempts. Back to pool. Morant looking around. The three. Offensive rebound. Jackson. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Yeah, they're going to have a nice he little run here. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And with an 86% free throw average, you can count on him to come through on most trips. Jalen Jackson Jr. at the line for one. One shot. Skill set of Jackson. The skill set he has is terrific. A raw big man with the potential to become a force. Here's Struce. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. To stop the drought. And Wall finishes inside. Wall's got his second basket of the night. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. Now a timeout called by Memphis. Brooks outside. Oh, he touched it while it was in the cylinder. That's offensive basket interference. And now, let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And that is a huge block, given how close this game is. A stop like that was right on point. Warriors leading by four. Jaws under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Sims dishes to Avia. And that one, good. Avdia's got five points so far. Excellent work offensively to get that shot attempt into a can't-miss area. Poked away, and that'll be Memphis as it goes out of bounds. Grizzlies retain possession. Morant drives to the hoop and the layup's good off the glass. He's got 13. Man, I love watching this kid play. Morant, he's just electric at the offensive end. He's having a night. Taking it to the rack with power, hammering down the two hand slam. Morant against Wall. And it's Brooks in the corner. Shot from the wing and misses it off the right side of the rim. Oh, you hate to let those easy chances slip through your fingers. Ball passes to Sims over Morant. A shot by Sims, no good. The Grizzlies trail by six. Here's Jackson. Yes, it is. For that is a bucket. Number five on a five for 11 night. Oh, looking comfortable taking his shot. Got to respect Jackson's touch from this area if you're the defense. Now here's Wall. He's got five. No good on the shot. The D making that layup look very uncomfortable for him. Good aggressive work down low. To the paint. Jackson kicks to Melton. Basketball. And it's Drews with the rebound. You can see he just rushed that a little bit. Lost the focus, I think. Steps back and shoots. And the Warriors miss again. Good job to stay on him and not give him a good look. Turned an easy shot to a very tough one. 
Back to Jackson. It's stolen by Kerminga. Throws it up high. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Morant passes to Poole. There's the triple. It's rebounded by Kaminga. Kaminga's got his fifth rebound in this one. He's done almost no damage from three-point range in this game. No threes in this half, and only one in the first. Now here's Wall, and there's the pass to Kaminga. Six to shoot. Can't hit the turnaround jumper. The Grizzlies trail by a six. There's the lob to Jackson, an incredible alley jam. Oh, I love watching Jackson on the receiving end of an alley oop. This is gifted athlete, fluid mobility. Timeout called the Warriors. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs Who back on the team. Both teams deciding to change it up. Here's Struess. Pass to Sims. Here's Hughes. And the three off target. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the back oh, Difficult to stop Jackson Jr. Close, close to the rim. He uses that 7-4 wingspan to his advantage. At the line for and guys, let's get your take on the Jackson scoring Jackson breakdown Jr. for the Warriors. You want to see how efficient the offense is running? A great stat to look at is points off assist. And they've gotten a ton of assists throughout this game. Yeah, but I also like the balance because they're doing a great job of getting inside and converting around the rim. I, I really like their aggressiveness. The first one falls. And so Jackson nails both of them. Oh, he's such a good free throw shooter. I mean, it frees him up to be as aggressive as he wants in the post. Now, here's Kaminga. Brooks covering. Well, that's an unforced error. That will drive a coach crazy. You gotta play heads up out there. Here's Wagner. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Down low for the tie. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. Wagner's got it all tied up now for the Grizzlies. They are just killing them on the interior. Passes it to Harold. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. <laughs> Guys, not much more a defender can do in that situation. Harold with the focus and the strength to just power through the contact. Jackson dishes to Brooks. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Golden State's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Here's Hughes. Count that bucket. And now a four-point Warrior lead. And how's that for a move? The killer crossover. It's a thing of beauty. Pass to Reddish. Now Jackson. And it's good. Two points. Jackson's got 13 points here in the second half alone. Oh, he's been dominant this court. I mean, he's determined to prevent the lead from getting any bigger. Here's Struess. There's the pass to Harrell. Lays it up and picks it in. Harrell's got four points this quarter. And improving as a shot maker every year. Harrell has to be accounted for defensively. Wagner passes to Reddish. The Warriors pull it in. Sims has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Tries from seven. And Kaminga puts it in. Kaminga's got his third basket of the night right there. Jackson passes to Reddish. Back to Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. Oh, what a game from Jackson so far. He's scoring at will and showing no signs of that. Timeout, timeout. Timeout called the Warriors. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Yeah, I, I like the chess match that's going on here. 
each team trying to find and, and exploit the favorable matchup on the floor. Substitution for the Warriors, James Wiseman, Moses Moody. Here's Moody. He gives the team some steady offense, a bit under 10 points a game. Hughes against Jackson to the left wing. Six on the shot clock. Here's Moody. And again, it's the Warriors missing. The Grizzlies trail by four. And here we go. The Grizzlies on a fast break. Man, he is just really in a flow right now. That field goal percentage has gone through the roof. And here is Moody. He lobs it up and finished off by Wiseman. So difficult. Trying to slow down Wiseman and screen and rolls his mobility. Terrific. Pass to Brooks. Back to Wagner. There's a lot of Jackson. Takes the alley pass and dunks it down. For a young player, Jackson has a solid understanding of the game. I mean, he guides him in the pick and roll. Now, here's Moody. D right on him. Wiseman with the bucket. And now it's 27 points for James Wiseman. They have ridden him today, and it has paid off in a big way. Wagner passes to Reddish. Over Wiseman. That shot off. The Warriors go the other way with it. They led by as many as 18 points. Moody the pass to Wiseman. There's Kaminga. And there's the call on Montrez Harrell. That is his first foul of the game. His first personal foul. For a team foul. Now, Wagner, he dishes it to Brooks. Passes it to Bain. It's rebounded by Golden State. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Moody's shot is off. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. This isn't like him. He knows it. The best thing they could do is try to get him more easy looks. And the foul called on Junior. For his team foul. That's his first foul. Now, here's Moody. He's guarded closely. Pass to Wiseman. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Warriors ahead. They lead by four. Live from the Phoenix Forum, you're watching 2K Sports. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Yeah, he put it on the platter and it was served cold. Now, I love the poise, the decisiveness. This is how you run an offense. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. Setting the floor for the Warriors. James Wiseman's out there with Harrell. Then there's Moody. Then it's Kaminga. And it's Hughes in at the point. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. Shot clock at six. Here's Rex. Take it five for ten with him in that bucket. Warriors leading by four. A pass to Moody. 
And here's Weissman, guarded by Poole. The jump hook, and the shot goes down. 31 points for James Weissman. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. Here's Jackson. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. The Warriors shooting 47%, pretty solid. Inside. Here's Harrell. Rebounded by Jackson. Jackson's got rebound number seven for him tonight. He's done a lot of the little things to help put them in front. I mean, but his offense has not been there for him tonight. Now, here's Moody. Feeds it to Harrell. Over Jackson. And it's Harrell missing. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really a lead. And another miss by Memphis. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Now, here's Moody. He's defended by Wagner. Harrell, that's good. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Now, here's Reddish. Started closer. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's his second. That's on James Wiseman. First team fight. At the line for your Grizzlies, Cam Reddish. At the line for two. Shooting two. That free throw good from Reddish. And they came out of the locker room after halftime with a much more physical approach than what we saw in that first half. Looking at who's out there now for the Grizzlies. De'Anthony Melton. He's checked in for Desmond Bain. And it's John Morant in for Wagner. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Warriors leading by six. Pass to Moody. Avdia with it. Five to shoot. There's the drive. And that one is good. And the Warriors lead by eight. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Poole finds Morant. There's a lot to Jackson. And Ryan's got a great understanding. He can play D like he fit him in the pick and roll center. Ball against Morant. Outside wall. Now here's Wiseman, guarded by Poole. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. Oh, great instinct. Relentless. Seems like he's getting to every miss. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Oh, the officials are all over that one. Second team foul. At the line for Memphis. Cam Reddish. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good from Reddish. No good on the second free throw. But that's what they want to see from him attacking, getting whistles, and maybe causing some fouls for him. All with it, and it's Reddish picking him up. Outside wall. Here's Weisman. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And the foul goes at against Memphis. Warriors, James Weisman at the line for two.
free throw good from Wiseman. Dylan Brooks, he's checked in for Reddish. And both free throws good for Wiseman. And here's Melton. He'll bring it up for Memphis. They trail by seven. Morant outside. Teardrop shot, and it's good on the way up. Just to make him a little more unstoppable, Morant's developed a deadly touch. And there's a whistle. That goes on Dylan Brooks. That'll be his second foul of the game. And the Warriors making a change here. Sims is checked in. for the Warriors. against Morant. Weisman the pass to Moody. And the rejection by Jackson. The Grizzlies trail by seven. Elton kicks to Morant. And he uses the glass on the way. 17 points for John Morant. Looking for a spot for Morant slithering around the court with the ball on the strength. Timeout called the Warriors. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let him catch their breath. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey guys, well, Steve Kerr talked to his team during the last timeout. He loves the aggressiveness on D. He said, we're doing a great job of challenging everything they're trying to do. Stay active, talk to each other, don't let up. Kevin? Thank you, David. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Passes at Nepal. Back to Morant. And he gets it to go. Morant's got 10 points in just the second half. No, working through the lane, Morant uses a change of speed to, to keep the defenders at bay. Wall dishes to Sims. Pass to Avdia. They get a hand on it. Morant with the steal. Now here's Jackson. Not a lot of room. The feed to Morant. Melton feeling it out a bit. Warriors with the rebound. Weisman's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Now, here's Moody. Guarded by Morant. Moody the pass to Wall. Shot clock at five. Stripped away. Now, here's Melton. Tight defense on him. To the middle. Stolen. From deep. Offensive rebound. The shot's good from Sims. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to him? Uh, exactly. Give it to the guy with the hot hand as long as you can. Let him try to close this out. Now here's Morant. On the wing, Melton. And Moody pulls it down. Moody's got his fourth rebound in this one. Sims. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his fourth wow, foul. wow, he got whacked five. on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Shooting for Golden State. Taking two shots. And that one falls for Sims. Kuminga's come in for James Wiseman. Yeah. 
And both free throws good for Sims. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. Elton kicks to Morant. With the drive. Good on the bucket. Morant's got 21 in the game. It's just what the doctor ordered here. Boy, have they needed him here in the fourth. Here's the lob to the hoop. Stolen by Brooks. Jackson from long range. Sims with the rebound. Warriors leading by seven. The pass to Avdia. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's his first personal foul. 14 foul. Shooting for Golden State. Danny Ogden. Two shots. And he makes the first. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. The Grizzlies trail by nine. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Misses off the right iron. The Warriors have gone 7 of 13 from the field here in the fourth. Pass to Moody. Here's Sims. Pass to Wall. Fires the three. John Morant grabs the rebound. Morant's got his fourth rebound in this one. Jackson passes to Poole. Out to Morant. Some nice passing there by Memphis. It's rebounded by Golden State. They led by as many as 18 points. Kaminga the pass to Avdia. Makes it off the glass. Avdia's got six in the quarter. No, but sometimes you don't need a haymaker. Just, just a jab. You, you, you got to get those easy looks inside. Jackson gets the bucket. He's been a different player since halftime. Coming on strong now. Here's Moody. Over to the wing. Here's Wall. Grizzly is with the rebound. Gould's got his 20th rebound here tonight. Saw that coming. Morant against Wall. It's Morant with the drive. And then Morant slams it in. Are you for real? Morant way, way up. That move is fire. Timeout called the Warriors. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath. And now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, John Wall. And the way he's made his mark with his work inside, he's just been a slasher tonight. Always moving, getting to the basket at will, and just seemingly taking advantage of a D that was reluctant to get in his way. And with the playoffs on the horizon, he'll be looking to stay in peak form as long as he can. The Grizzlies trail by seven. Brooks finds Jackson. It's rebounded by Kaminga. Golden State's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. So the wing on the left, pass to Wall. Lock at six. Now here's Moody. He's guarded by Melton. The Grizzlies shooting 43% from the floor. It's Morant in the corner. Trying to get open. Got it, and the Warrior lead has been put down to five on the bucket from Morant. <laughs> Easy to see why they go to Morant. He's good at coming up with the big bucket. Out to the right wing. Outside wall. And the reach. 
Rejection by Jackson. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Avia. Wide open look. Shot is good off the back of him and in. And that assist got him a nod from his teammate after that one. Now a timeout called by Memphis. They're behind by seven. 103 left in the game. Heisman's checked in for the Warriors. James Weiser. He lobs up the alley oop pass. And Wiseman sends it back. The Warriors shooting about 43% here in the fourth quarter. Here's Wall. The Grizzlies pull it in. Well, even though he's gone ice cold, he keeps shooting. I mean, it's late enough in the game for him to recognize her. Uh, <laughs> this is the option. Oh, the fearlessness from Jackson. He doesn't shy away during these important possessions. He enjoys fighting. So they foul intentionally. That's his third person foul. 15 foul. Shooting for Golden State. John Wall. At the line for two. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really want. He's got one more, though. So he comes up empty at the line. Can't waste any time here. You're right. They desperately need a bucket in every second. Man. Oh, oh, that was super nice. Absolutely nails it. I mean, we talk about Morant having that it factor. Makes the biggest play in the game. We can probably expect to see him slow it down now. Yeah, I think you want to milk your possessions. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Six to shoot. From deep, Wall. No good that time. Now a timeout called by Memphis. They're trailing by three. Three seconds left to play in the final quarter. What's your take, guys? Let's face it, really difficult to find an open three in this situation. Look, there's no secret. It's the only shot that'll save them. So the D is all over the perimeter, guarding that three-point line. Looking to tie it up with a big triple. Right, let's see what they run here. This is not the time to panic. Work the offense. And he's done everything they've asked for. It's all because of all the work he's done that this game is, is even close. And so Steve Kerr decides to call a timeout. <laughs> to win the game. Oh, and a chance to win the game, but the last second shot is offline. And that's going to do it for regulation. So we are headed to overtime. Live from the FedEx Forum, you're watching 2K Sports. Well, four quarters weren't enough to decide this ballgame. Sit back and enjoy as we move on to overtime. And it's the Warriors to start out. And always a good ride in these post-regulation battles. This overtime now looking to be an exciting one. All fueled up and ready to go to overtime basketball here. Brought to us by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. So on the floor for Memphis. Brooks at the three with Jackson at the four. Morant is out there with DeAnthony Melton. And it's Poole in at the five spot. Working as hard as anybody for that rebound. That's not an easy one to correct. Inside. Nice pass. Nice catch and a resounding double. You've got to give them a lot of credit for just battling back into this game. There's no panic in them. I mean, staring at a big deficit, they still kept their poise and went to work. Morant with the steal. Outside Jackson. Poole up top. He kicks to Morant. Got it. Good job in the low post. Morant's got the lead up to four now for the Grizzlies. 
it's been a clinical performance. He's played a huge role and, and has them in position to grab the W. Here's Moody. Got three off the mark. He has shot them in the foot with his inability to make shots tonight. Morant, left side. It's over off the yellow. And that one hits back iron. Warriors trail by four. Takes it to Kaminga. Now, here's Moody. He's covered closely. Boy, he just hasn't been able to get his shot to fall. Now, here's Poole. He's covered by Wiseman. Here's Morant. And finished off by Morant. Man, he's got some hops. Morant loves to attack the rim when he gets the chance. Any chance. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Now the pass to Wiseman. Six on the shot clock. Golden State needs to get off a shot. And the Warriors miss again. And that shot isn't the one they should be taking if they want to make this comeback happen. Cool, no good. He's got to do a better job making the D pay for their mistakes. Wiseman finds Wall to the paint. Here's Kuminga, and it's blocked. Morant outside. Pass to Jackson. Good on the shot. And now it's an eight point Memphis lead. Well, but this is why Morant's teammates love to play alongside him. I mean, exceptional vision and is incredibly unselfish. Shot to stop the run. It's rebounded by Memphis. Morant's got six rebounds now in the game. We're now over three and a half minutes through this overtime period. Yeah, wiry, strong, and courageous. Morant's willing to slam it up in there if you give him a lane. Timeout called the Warriors. They're down by 10. 127 left to play in OT, and this battle continuing. Ball against Morant. Now here's Wall. He's guarded closer. Hangs in midair and converts on the double clutch layup. Memphis leading by eight. Morant drives in and finished off by Morant. Ooh, rolling to the rim with force. Love when Morant goes hard and converts from the side. Outside, Wolf. No oh, good with the triple. For Memphis, they've gone six of nine when they've shot the basketball in overtime. And now as the clock ticks down, this is going to end up as a solid victory here for the Grizzlies. You're right, not much time left. You know they couldn't put him away in regulation, but after what we've seen here, a superb performance in overtime, they're, they're managing to get the job done. Yeah, just an amazing game, and ultimately they were able to just pull away there at the end. And when it's all said and done here, this will mark their 38th W on the year. Really a big-time win for these guys. They lost their first two games of the year to this team, so they won't be in danger of getting swept when they meet for the fourth time. I mean, when you look at the stats, you'll see just how dominant a game this was. For John Morant, for the biggest impact he had is with his on-the-ball defense. Such quick hands, his steals added up to a lot of extra position. And you can sense that these fans, these players, they are ready to celebrate. We know they are sure. I mean, the finish line is in sight. All they have to do is play a small. So no problem for Memphis as they get the win. They had to scrape and claw to push it to overtime, but they really came on in the extra period. What a ride. I mean, I, I thought it might end in regulation, but you know what? They came through big and, and did exactly what was necessary once we got into OT. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Ja. A lot of swag on this team tonight. Who's responsible for that confidence? I feel like we all talk to each other, even the coaching staff. 
coach let us play with a lot of freedom. Everybody has the green light. So, I mean, there's no, no reason to lack confidence when you have a coach who believes in you um, every step of the way and just lets you go out there and play your game. So, uh, we always just preach, you know, keep shooting, make or miss, and we're behind you, so. You all look like a confident bunch, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Chris Webber, Greg Anthony, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone.